Hey hey everyone, welcome to my new Let's Play video, my name is Ivica and this time around, as most time arounds, we'll be playing Hearthstone. And my new deck I just made, that's sh uh, going to be interesting to you if you're into meta decks that you didn't see uh, from everyone at all of the time. But before we continue, I have a huge shout out for a guy called Joshua Crisp and his YouTube channel, also called Joshua Crisp, where you can find a lot of things if you're into entrepreneurship, Amazon and real estate. So the channel is pretty new, but on it you'll see tips on selling on Amazon, uh, another additional info on things like Amazon FBA program and many more things that will help you kind of get into uh, those things if you're into entrepreneurship and I know a lot of you are. So the link to Joshua Crisp channel is in the description below. Check it out, subscribe, like, uh, take a look at his videos. If you're into making money as an individual entrepreneur, I think you'll love it. So, let's see the deck that I made. This deck was created thanks to um, a comment from uh, one of my viewers. Um, it made me think, basically, before I start playing, I want to show you the deck. Um, about Silverhand Paladin. I really like Silverhand Paladin and uh, the idea was why not try to make a meta deck that's kind of based around the idea of using Silverhand Recruits as the main weapon. So here's how the deck looks like. Uh, and here we go. So Eddie Mills Gaming a week ago suggested to me uh, or in fact, ask me, hey, could you make a silver hand pedal and rec record some gameplay? I'm considering one, but I haven't seen anything, anything or played it. So I kind of got to um, research. That's a hard word. That's a big word, a misleading word. Uh, I didn't really re research it that much. I just kind of googled it and saw what Matabon was uh, writing about it. There are silver hand paladin decks but they all based they're all based on three or four uh type of legendary cards they seem pretty expensive and i said nah nah i'm gonna make my own and basically what i did is combine a lot of uh, taunt minions with some um boosters like uh, the blessing uh, blessing of kings and uh, what more um uh, no that was uh Yep, the Blessing of Kings, and what's the first name? First name of the... Uh, Blessing of Might, yeah. Um, so, my tactic for this deck is to take my Silver Hand and try to spawn them as many as possible, while at the same time I also place my Taunt cards on the deck, hoping to kind of get to that mid-late game where I can do some real damage, especially with my... Uh, uh, Volcanosaur and his uh, double adept, which is my only kind of a big and offensive card in the deck. So far it went kind of okay, I'm not sure, it's the beginning of the June season. So all those uh, maniacs who are off to get legendary or 1-2-3 ranks are playing like crazy, they have awesome decks. Oh yeah, so it's Blessing of the Kings and bl Blessing of Kings and Blessing of Might. Whatever, whatever. And here's how I'm going to play this. So, right at the get-go, I'm going to spawn my two Silver Hand recruits with the Lost in Jungle. And this is the card, Light Fuse Stegadon. It can adapt my minions, my um, Silver Hand recruits. Okay, so there will be plenty of single cost minions, which isn't that bad. Reporting for duty. Let's see how this goes. My opponent is called Kidox. <laughs> I'm just Kidoxing. No, his real name. Or she, or it, or whichever type of human being Kidox thinks he, she, it, or something is. So I'm going to put my, my turtle with a stick. And I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to get this guy. And this goes to face. The name uh, Vic 
Care Flame Burn Bristol Burn Bristol Burn Bristol Okay Not something I can pronounce easily But that's more good to me than anything else So Here we go I'm going to Sacrifice one of my silver hand recruits. So turn four looks pretty good for me. Okay. So my opponent is probably pretty quickly going to get to the to the hand thereafter. Let's see. Do I go for maximum damage here? No. Hmm. So this is going to be my play. I'm going to boost my silver hand here. I'm going to summon another one. I'm going to take out the raptor or whatever. Go for face damage. Weaker flame, burn Bristol. Hard, so hard. Kidox is stacking out on cards. Um, and here it is. This is basically what you're after. Okay, oh, this was close. I'm going to now add one plus one to all my silver hands. And hopefully, it's going to make a difference in the next turn. Hopefully, it's going to win me the match in the next turn, but we'll see. So yeah, your Sealer Hand recruits are your kind of your offensive weapon. At least until the very late game where you can place your um, Volcanosaur. Okay. This is all solid for me. Hopefully Kidox doesn't have some nasty surprise. Uh, this is going to go up to taunt most likely. And my... Yeah, what's next? Three attack? Yeah, not... It's not catastrophic. Okay. So let's see, do I have the winning hand here? Well, it looks like I do. Should I mutate my silver hands one more time? Well, let me think about it. So it's uh, a quick count here, yeah, exact number. I'm doing just this just to kind of show you what I was thinking with this meta deck. Alright, alright, alright. You see, with this you have a real... Well Thanks, Kidox. You have an awesome hand. Well yeah, Kidox isn't about to wait as I explained it to you. Which is fine, he shouldn't, or it's a shield. And this is a bonus card. So yeah, it, all these stars were made with this deck. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out uh, Joshua. Crisp and his channel on entrepreneurship as Amazon and real estate, links in the description below. And say hi, uh, like, share, subscribe on his channel if you like any of the videos. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear them about my Silver Hand uh, Paladin meta deck. And again, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for watching, see you on my next video, bye bye.